Hello everyone, this is going to be a approximately about a 10 minute video explaining how and how to set up the Octopus Energy Intelligent Octopus to the Homey Home Pro Charger integration. To do this, you will need a Homey Home Pro, the Octopus app and an EV. To get started with the Intelligent Octopus integration with Homey, scroll down on your Octopus app and you will see Explore Our Lab, Intelligent Octopus for EVs, Smart Charge at a lower rate for six, for six hours. Click Once you see this, click Get Started. We are doing this for the Homey Home Pro Charger, so select Chargers. Next, press Get Started. We are doing this for the Homey. So when you come to this screen, plug your car in at home, you do not need to plug your car in unless you are using the old style Type 2 to Type 2 cable devices. Okay, to get started, set up my charger. So my charger is a Homey Home Pro. But again, if you're using the Homey Go Charging Cable Type 2, plug your car in. If for any other, press your selected charger. So mine is a 7.4 kilowatt. Perfect. Now click add my car. So my car is a Tesla. So I select Tesla. Model Y. The Sierra generation. Perfect. Now on here you, you will not have you are already on the intelligent tariff. What you will have is you will have a click here to accept the terms and conditions. If you click that read through the terms and conditions and press accept you will then be you will then be temporarily moved on to the intelligent tariff once we have completed so once you've accepted the terms and conditions press connect device so now we're going to sign into our homey account so go to login now if you have a homey account with your username and use it with your email address and password enter it in here if you set up your home account using Facebook, Google or Apple, enter it in there, click the respective button. But for my example, I used a generic account, so I'm going to log in for that now. This will be blurred for you, for obviously for security reasons. Next, once you have authenticated, you'll be presented with this screen here, which is Homey to Octopus Energy, confirm authentication. So do we want to allow Octopus? to access your homey charger and update your tariff to intelligent octopus in the tariff section of your app which we do so we'll hit confirm next we'll then press test connection so before you this can take up to 10 minutes your device must be plugged in at home so this is the homey device plugged in so if for my, so for this example i've got the homey home pro which is already plugged in wired into the main so it's always online if you again if you have the old style type 2 to type 2 cables plug it in and start charging other than that we'll press test connection so this will go off and say it needs up to 10 minutes it won't it'll do it more or less instantly uh, obviously depend on the load depend on on the actual server's back end times but, but um, there you go just as i was doing it it's already completed okay so next you'll say that welcome to you're all set up welcome to octopus pause this video now if you wish to give this a read and I'll see you in the Homey app. Open the Homey app. If your car is currently plugged in, please now unplug it while we complete the final remaining steps. Now we'll scroll up to this hamburger menu, which is the three lines. Click that. Click. You will see here where you have My Energy. If under My Energy it says Intelligent Octopus, if you click that and you see your off peak and peak, then you have successfully linked your octopus account to your homey account next come out of that click the hamburger menu click on to my charger see where it's got price cap click that now unselect price cap the reason why we're doing this is because when your car is charging outside of off peak homey thinks you're being built on peak you are not this is just how the how the system works again because this is a beta product there is going to be a few hiccups which is this is part of the hiccups okay so come out with that next click on to charge schedules press the settings cog here save money optimize the battery life and favor green energy untick 
all three of these options. These are ticked by default within Homey, and it does not allow Octopus to charge the car correctly outside of off-peak. Now you'll see that by default you'll have two schedules. What we want to do is we want to delete one schedule and we'll modify this one. So name this something which you'll like. For example, I'm going to name this one IO. So my target range, I want to be 100% because I do a lot of miles. Now, if your car is an API enabled car, you will be able to add the exact mileage and percentage. If your car is not an API based car, you will have a target. For example, you want to add 50% to the car. So select that to what you wish. Okay. Weekdays and weekends. So we want this to do this every day or depend on whatever your circumstances are. For my instance, I do. My departure time, so I leave at 8 o'clock in the morning every day. Sorry, 6 o'clock in the morning every day. So I want my car to be to have 100% by 6 a.m. Okay. If you do wish to precondition your car, do it from within the car. Do not allow home to do it, otherwise you will be billed at on peak for that block. So if I've got preconditioning for 30 minutes, I will be billed at on peak for that 30 minutes. It's preconditioning. So if you can, do it from within the car. Press save. Sleep when inactive. So sleep when inactive. This basically does as it says on tins. It will turn the display off after its last after the last time you touch the buttons. Lock charger buttons. What that will do is essentially it will not allow anyone to interact with the display. So everything has to be done through the app. Now approve each plugin. For this, for the setup, to allow it to do, please enable approve each plugin, and I'll sh explain why in the next short clip. But as long as you've got one schedule, price caps disabled, and you've got it to charge schedules, press the settings here, and all that's unticked, we're almost ready. Let me go plug the car in, and I'll get back to you. Now that you've plugged your car in and opened the Homey app, so open the Homey app, do not press approve from the notification on your phone actually physically open the homey app you will then be presented with this screen what says pending approval 87 percent 227 miles again because my car is an api enabled car it knows its exact percentage and its exact mileage if your car is not an api enabled car then it will just display it as zero so i am going to approve plugin So you will see that I have been given a charging schedule. So if we look here, so we've calculated your dynamic charge schedule and here's when we plan to charge your vehicle. Some slots may change to help balance the grid. So if we see here, we've got 4.40 p.m. So that is now. And if I look on this graph, I can see that it is going to be charging straight away. Okay. If I scroll up and see where it's got smart charging, as long as it displays smart charging, you are billed at off peak. Okay, even if it's on peak hours, you are billed at off peak. As long as this car is charging and you see this graph data going up, okay, your house is at 7.5p and your car is charging. Okay, now every 30 minutes, these slots can change. So these slots can change every 30 minutes, okay? I'm not sure if you just heard that in the background, but that's some extra automations I've got in place with my charging because I've got panels and stuff. So when my, while my car's charging, I'm charging my batteries and stuff, but that is a whole load of extra stuff, which I may or may not do in another video. If we scroll down a bit, we see this money figure here. So see how for this charge, it's going to cost me £3.59, okay? Now, if you're battery is quite low so you're doing quite say like a full charge for example that figure may display 10 20 30 40 it may display a high amount okay but honestly that is just what homey homey thinks that you are being charged for this charge okay because homey can't talk to the octopus api at a click of a finger and say how much is this customer being billed so it will assume because it's outside of off peak you are, you're charging at 30 pence a kilowatt or whatever your equivalent is. But again, you are not. It's just how it talks. As soon as you unplug your car, as soon as you unplug your car, it will reflect in the charge stats and on your bill, which I'll show you. You've got CO2 and battery. Again, that data there is just completely optional for yourselves. 
it's just more of an information thing for you there. But as long as you've got smart charging at the top and you've got buy, so for this, because my car's API, it'll have exactly amount, but as long as it has buy set amount of time and it has smart charging, okay, then you're laughing. If you go into change target and select don't charge above 7.5p, what that slider does is it locks you to only charge from half 11 p.m. to half five. Max charging, what that'll do, max charging is basically it'll ramp up your charger to its max speed of the charger or your car, depending on which one's the max of, and it will continuously charge your car at max until it is full. But that is built at that current point in time, not off peak, not on peak, whatever it is. So if you do it outside of the half 11 to half five, it will be at your on peak cost. So never select that unless you absolutely need to go out quickly and you need a car percentage charge for example okay if you come out with that pause charge does exactly what it says on the tin it will pause the charge so while i go on to the charge statistics within the homey app you will see here that these are my charges for today so you can see 8 a.m to 9 a.m so that cost me eight pence uh, from 11 to 12 that cost me four pence from 12 to 1 two pence and the charge which i did at the start of this video it was 4 or 5, obviously, because it is still charging, that's still ramping up, but you can see it's added 0.1 of a kilowatt, it's cost me 3 pence. But this just goes to show you that, there you go, that was 8, that was, there's a prime example, so from 8 till 9, I added 1 kilowatt, and that billed me at 7.5 pence, which we obviously, we round up the decimals, so it was 8 pence. Okay, let's say, if we have any further questions or queries or issues, feel free to join that Facebook support group or comment in the YouTube section, and we'll get back to you. Cheers now. Goodbye.